Hey everyone, it's Natalie from This and That. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my clutter-free kitchen. I'm gonna kind of show you how we have everything organized in our kitchen in different zones. I'll show you uh, my pantry again and refrigerator, and I'm also gonna open up every cabinet and every drawer. So we have more of a minimal look in our kitchen. As you can see behind me, we really don't keep a lot on our countertops, and that's one of the things that really helps keep things clutter-free. This video is a collaboration with my friend Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Sophie lives in Denver, Colorado with her new husband and she is super, super organized. She makes all of her own labels and has tons of tips. You're going to love her kitchen tour. I'll have everything for Sophie linked down below. So why don't you come on back and let's start looking at the cabinets. So our kitchen is not huge as far as square feet, but it is actually really open. It opens up into our living room over to this side and our dining room. And so the room feels really, really open, but we don't have a ton of cabinet space, but we're blessed with a huge pantry and everything is really functional. So it does help with the layout of our kitchen. So we have this huge island that has our sink and some cabinets, our dishwasher and a few drawers. But then this is really where the majority of our cabinets are. It also has our microwave and our stove and our oven, and then our pantry back here in the corner. So I'm gonna show you how we have things in different stations in our kitchen to make it really functional for us. Okay, so starting in this cabinet here, this is where we keep most of our containers for storing things, mostly for like lunches and stuff and meal prep. These are our smaller containers. So I have everything organized by size, and we also have these for our lids, which make it just a lot easier to keep track of everything. I like having the same kind of containers so that everything matches up because when you have a bunch of different ones, it makes it a lot harder to keep it clean. And then in this cabinet here, this is where we keep all of our plates. Now you might notice that there's not a lot of plates because our dishwasher is actually full right now and needs to be run. Um, so we do have more plates than this. We're not like total minimalist or anything, but we are kind of starting to pare our stuff down. So when we got married, we actually got two sets of plates. We had some blue dishes as well as these white ones. And what we realized, we did an experiment and we actually uh, took all of the blue plates out and just had the white ones to see if we could like work or function with just those. There's only two of us and we were able to do it. So we ended up selling our blue dishes and now we mostly just use the white ones and we found that six is the perfect number for us. So we have six of each size and then we're, we have like four bowls, but we want to get six as well. But then you can see up top, we actually have a whole second set of dishes that um, were my husband's when he, before we got married. So we do have a second set just in case, or if we want to, you know, be a little fancier and like plate our meals and make them a little more fun. So on the countertops here, we really don't keep a lot. We have just one thing per countertop and that really helps keep things, I think look like really visually clutter free. Um, at first, I didn't really want to do that. It was actually my husband who kind of convinced me like, I think we should keep less on the countertop. And I have to say that I totally love it. So maybe one thing per countertop doesn't really work uh, in your home, especially if you have a larger countertop or maybe some appliances you really do use every day. But for us, it really works. So we just have the knife block here. And honestly, we don't really use it every day, but it's like, where, you know, where else would you put it? And I like that it covers up the outlet that's right here. So that's where it kind of just sits and it makes it super easy to clean the surface when we are using it. So all of our utensils are in the drawers that go across here instead of them being on the counter we used to have a um, one of those like circular containers that we would keep all of them in and then we realized we really don't need that many appliances so when i open up and you see all of our utensils um, there's not really that much in each drawer but they are really spread out and organized so let me show you those all right, so each drawer kind of has a theme. In this one, this is like our sharp items drawer. And like I said, it's pretty empty. We don't have a ton of stuff anymore. I love these containers. They actually slide, so they can become as wide or as narrow as your drawer needs. They could be as skinny as these two columns, or they can be even a little bit wider than this. So anything that is sharp or is used for cutting is gonna be here, as well as our cheese grater in the back 
and our apple slicer scissors and things like that. And then the drawer next to it is all more like measuring and baking kind of things. So we've got all of our measuring cups and you can clearly see one like missing. We keep our one cup ones separate, our measuring spoons, and then here are just different ice cream and cookie scoops. So this is all a baking drawer. All right, before we go to the other side of the oven, I'm gonna show you what's down here in these cabinets. In here, we have all of our pots and pans that we use for baking. We've definitely been slowly narrowing them down. We have pretty much one nonstick and one regular pan in every size. Um, so we have a couple things that help keep this a little bit easier because with deep cabinets, it can be really hard to get some of your items out. So things that we use less often are in the back or up on the shelves where they're not as easy to see. Um, but for this, we do use these a lot. Um, so we have some risers like this. They actually fold out and they make it a lot easier to store more stuff. The large pot that we use the most is in the front, but we actually have a second one behind if we ever did need to use it like use two at once, which it doesn't happen very often at all. We also have our cast iron in the back because we don't use that as often either. Then we have one of these um, racks that's for, you can put like pans in there or you can do the lids um, and you can actually do it vertical or horizontal. We have ours laying on the side and all of our pots and pans are um, like laying and I find that a lot easier to pull them out and that just makes it super easy to grab stuff. And then we even have a shelf on a shelf in the back so that everything is, nothing is stacked, everything's in a single layer and that just makes it super easy to get to. Right here above the microwave, we have one of those you know, hard to reach cabinets. So the only things that are up there are things that are really easy to grab. On one side, I have all of our measuring cups um, and they're really, I can still reach them if you're a little shorter, it might be hard to reach them. And then on this side, we have all of our baking pans plus our cutting boards. And because I have them in one of those little racks that keeps them vertical, they're really easy to just pull down but nothing is too far back that we can't reach it up here. There's something I actually wanna show you inside the microwave, so let me open it up here. Okay, actually there are two things I wanna show you inside the microwave. One is this microwave cover. It is just a plastic cover with a few little slits in it. It really keeps our microwave clean. So anytime you put a dish or food in there to heat up, you just put it on the top and any splatters go into this. So when you're done microwaving, if there's food splatters, you can just rinse it. And then of course, every once in a while, you can wash it or throw it in the top rack of the dishwasher. And the other thing that I love is this mat. It's just a silicone mat. It also can go in the dishwasher or you can hand wash it, um, but it helps like if anything spills or is sticky, you can just bring it out, soap it down real quick, shake it out and it dries super fast. So that way you're not having to clean the glass tray in your microwave nearly as much. On the other side of the oven, we have more things that are needed for cooking and baking. So in the drawers, we have a drawer full of spoons and spatulas and also our uh, little spoon rests, which we use all the time when we are cooking. And then in the other drawer, we have a few more utensils like our spatulas and ladles. And this is actually the drawer that I use the least often. So it's the furthest away because I'm just not needing to get to it as much. Then in this cabinet down here is where we have all of our larger dishes. So our big bowls, we've got all of the glass bowls together, all of the metal bowls together, and all of the plastic bowls together. We also have all of our casserole dishes. We got rid of quite a few after we got married. We realized we just didn't need like eight nine by 13 casserole dishes. So we've narrowed it down and we still have like five, but one of them is special, one of them has a lid, and then we have just two like basic ones, and then we have some square ones as well. This section of the counter is mostly my coffee station because I love coffee. You can see that the light is already on because even though it's like mid-afternoon, I have my coffee prepped and ready for tomorrow. That's like the most important thing that I do before going to bed every night. So when I come down, my coffee is waiting for me. So in this cabinet right here is mostly all the things that we need for coffee. I used to keep this stuff sitting out on the countertop and when we decluttered some things and made more space, I realized that I could fit it 
inside the cabinet and it just makes the whole countertop look a lot more clutter free. So I do have like a cute coffee canister and then a little mug where I keep the scoops for my coffee. And then this is like a, like just a cloth where I reuse my coffee cup. So I'll wash them just every other day, rinse it out and then turn it upside down and it can dry inside of the cabinet. And just to be safe, I also have a plastic mat down uh, or a liner inside the cabinet so that it doesn't warp or do anything to the wood. Moving on up, we have our coffee mugs. My favorite right now are in these glass ones that I actually got from my mother-in-law when they were moving in and she didn't want them anymore. I brought them home with me and I love them so much, but I kind of go through different phases with my coffee mugs. So I'm mostly just using like travel coffee mugs even in my house right now. And then up top are the kinds of glasses that we don't use as often. Um, we really need like, at least I need a ladder to get up there except to reach this wine glass, which I is the only one that I really use. It's just the one wine glass. But other than that, I need a ladder to get up there. So those are more of the special glasses that we just don't need as often. And in this side, we have more cups, more of our regular everyday cups, or we also use the glass ones when people come over. We almost never touch these because we each have our own preference for how we like to drink water, which is mostly what we drink. I like to use my huge Yeti cup and my husband likes to drink out of plastic cups. So he pretty much just uses these and the glass ones are really just for our guests. And then up high again, we've got more um, glasses and mugs that we just don't use as often. So they're up high and sort of out of sight. And when we need them, we can get a ladder and get up there. My favorite part of the kitchen, probably not a surprise, is the pantry. I just redid it for like the third time since we've lived here. We've been here for maybe two years. And I really, I don't know, I just have a lot of joy in organizing the pantry and making it look really pretty. So there is a whole separate video just on the pantry that I will link for you, but we can go in right now and get a quick look. So I definitely won't take you through every single thing here in the pantry, but I do wanna share my favorite new thing, which is these overflow bins on the floor. They really help make the entire pantry look less cluttered because I could take all of the extras down off of the shelves and keep them stored all together. And then I also have a list of everything that is overflow. So when we run out of something and we're looking for like do we have any more? If we can't go through the bins or maybe you might miss it in the bins, we have a list on our overflow. So that's completely transformed our pantry and I love it so much. I look at it like every single day. This part of our kitchen is a really tight squeeze. I remember when we first looked at this house, there wasn't a refrigerator in this like space yet. And we were really worried <laughs> that a refrigerator would actually be able to fit and open. So it is kind of a tight squeeze, but it still works. And I do have a refrigerator organization that I just put out as well. So I'll make sure to have that one linked too. So you can go see everything because right now our refrigerator is super empty. So it doesn't look quite the same as it did in that video. But I want to show you a couple of things on the outside of the refrigerator that help keep us organized. So right here we have a just a weekly calendar. This is where we put all of our meals for the week. So it is a Sunday right now, so we are getting ready to plan our meals for the rest of the week. And we'll write them on here just so we can kind of keep track together, like what meals are we making, who's making what. And also if something pops up and we decide we're going to go out to eat, it's really easy to see what we've planned and shuffle it around, move it, or if we need to, like put something in the freezer. It just makes it a lot easier. We also have a pad of paper just for our grocery list and if we need to make notes. And then this is something that I think is really, really cool. So we kept having an issue as a married couple of like not telling each other our schedules and then things would get mixed up. So now we have these little calendars and this actually comes in a pack of four. It's from Amazon. I'll make sure to have it linked. So you could have four weeks, an entire month if you wanted to. But what I like about it is since it's separate, each week is a separate one and they are dry erase. Um, you could just have one week, you could have two, three, whatever you want to do. And you can just take the one week, well, like if once this week is over, you can just take it and move it up and switch out the next week, which I just think is really nice. So this has been really good for us as a married couple to get our schedules together. One thing that I will not show you because it is up way too high is the cabinet above the refrigerator. I really don't like the cabinet above the refrigerator. I wish it didn't exist at all because when it's there, we always put stuff in it and 
we have stuff in it. Mostly what's up there is all of our like serving stuff and then um, sets of glasses for when we have people over. So when I need to get something up there, I have to get on a stool and climb up there, but we've got like serving platters, um, sets of wine glasses and things like that. But that's what's up there in case you're wondering. All right, this is our last set of cabinets here in the kitchen. So up top, we have more um, storage. These are all of our larger food storage items. And at the very top, I keep our divided containers for meal prep. I like having them here because when I'm ready to like put things away, put things in the fridge, it's right here where I need it. This lower cabinet is all about baking. So I've got our stand mixer in there. We have a little bin with like different baking supplies and a waffle maker and I think an extra toaster. So we've got this toaster here and then a regular toaster. So we are all covered when we need to make toast. Lastly, this is our junk drawer, but as you can see, it's it's pretty organized. We keep all of our like random items in the back, but this is also where we keep batteries and pins and dry erase markers, scissors and tape. Everything just goes right here, so it's really easy to find. So in our center island here, we have a few more cabinets and drawers. We have our dishwasher, which is nothing special. And like I said, it's full of dishes, but something that I love is this magnet right here. This has moved with us. We love it so much. It's, it says dirty and then clean on one side. So for the most part, we're really, really good about flipping it. So you never have to wonder if the dishwasher is dirty or clean. The cabinets below the sink are, I think, pretty typical. I keep like cleaning supplies and things down here. Um, I do have some more of those risers, which really help keep things in place. There's only really two cleaners that I use in our kitchen, one for the granite itself and then one for stainless steel. So we just have those two bottles sitting here. And then in this white trash can, it's just like a small little trash can. It's never had trash in it. As you can see, it says clean. This is where we keep all of the clean microfiber cloths that we use here in the kitchen. Blue is for the kitchen. This is the Amazon pack that comes white, yellow, and blue. So I can have that linked for you guys too. They're awesome for cleaning. And I also use the white ones for my body in the shower. So you might have been wondering if we actually have silverware or not. We do, it's in this top drawer right here. We just have the one set of silverware for, that we got from our wedding and that suits us just fine. Again, we're just two people in the house. This also holds all of our chopsticks. We probably have more chopsticks than forks, I think. <laughs> and then I just got these new silicone straws to drink my coffee because I'm trying to um, keep my teeth white or like get my teeth to be whiter. And so I'm trying silicone straws and I really, really like the straws. The second drawer here holds all of our oven mitts. Um, we are probably going to declutter these kind of soon because you really only need two. <laughs> my favorite one is this one, but it's a little hard to use because you can't like really grip things that well. Um, so I, we just use our basic ones most of the time. The third drawer here is all of our dish towels and we have a ton of dish towels, but a lot of times by the end of the week, all of them will be gone because we use them for everything. So if we're like cooking and we're washing vegetables, we don't use paper towels, we use the dish towel and put it out. Um, if I'm drying fruit, I mean, we just use them for absolutely everything. So we go through a lot in one week. And then the final drawer down here is all of our cloth napkins. We use cloth napkins when we are like eating, like these are just for us to use. And so we use these in lieu of paper towels and we actually like them a lot better than paper towels. And we have a set of 24. So even if we have guests over, we have plenty for them to use too. Here at the sink, we are very intentional about what we choose to keep like on this island as a whole. So you can see we have a plant right here, which makes things look nice and bright and green. This was my husband Kent's plant, or is still his plant, Louis. And you've had him for how many years? 11. He's had him for 11 years and kept him alive. He probably needs a little bit of cleaning right now, but he's still thriving. And so he stays right here on the countertop and makes things look really, really nice. The other thing that I keep here is this glass um, soap dispenser. This is dish soap, just regular Dawn dish soap in here, but I have it in a glass um, soap dispenser. And it just makes it really easy when I am cleaning dishes to pump a few on the sponge and just get everything clean.
I really like this little silicone uh, sponge caddy. So in our sink, we've got the dirty side of the sink where the garbage disposal is and then the clean side of the sink. So even if the dishwasher is full, you know, you can rinse your plate off and set it in the clean side of the sink and it's just ready to go into the dishwasher when it's done. So just like the sink has two sides, this caddy has two sides and I have one sponge for dirty things like actually scrubbing food off of the plates and then another sponge that I just use to wash dishes after I've gotten all of the food off. So they kind of match up and it just helps me like feel like everything is a little bit cleaner when I do have to hand wash dishes. Thank you guys so much for watching my kitchen tour. Let me know what does your kitchen look like? Do you like to keep more stuff on the counters or maybe even less? I'd love to know. And don't forget to go check out my friend Sophie's video over at Sophisticated Organization. You are gonna love all of the ideas that she has. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.